Hi everyone, Sherry here. I uh, was in the mood today of, I do a lot of florals and I thought it was time to change it up. So I decided today I was going to do mushrooms. So what I've done here is I've lightly drawn out just with a regular HB2 pencil, the uh, outline for my flowers, for my flowers, see? <laughs> for my mushrooms so I'm going to paint that and then I'm going to decide if I want to uh, make this a line and wash and do some line work or if I'm going to leave it and I will we'll know better once I have it painted so now I've already decided that these two mushrooms here with the dots on it are going to be red with white dots and my other three are going to, I'm going to use buff titanium. So they're going to be a sort of off-white. So the buff titanium is from Daniel Smith. And I'm going to get right into it. Now I'm painting the top of the mushroom. and the stem. And the same with my other two. Um, sort of off-white beige mushrooms my stems Okay, now the stems of my other two will be buff titanium also. And as you'll see, my stems come right up into the mushroom. I'm going to use Jane's Gray for the underneath. Um, I choose Jane's Gray because it's a softer, lighter gray than Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray is the more well-known gray. I'm trying to paint in the same direction that my lines would be.
I'm going to come in with my red for the tops of these two mushrooms. Then I'm going to use a uh, gel pen to do in my, I'm trying to decide which red I'm, cadmium red I believe, that's the deepest red I've got from Winsor & Newton. It's a bit of an orange, so I'm going to add a bit of alicerin crimson to make this a, uh, a stronger red. Okay, now I'm going to come in with my leaves and I'm going to use sap green with a touch of Payne's Gray to make a nice olive green. going in different directions. Try to uh, change up the uh, shades of the gray or sort of the green. Some a little darker than others. Okay. Now I think I will come in with the micron pen just simply because I need some definition here. I think I will do some shading first though. I'm going to come in with some Payne's gray or sorry Jane's gray again or lighter gray and very lightly some shadows. And then some paint gray for my center here. It's a little darker than I want, so I'm just going to lift this a bit. And 
Okay, that works. All right. So let's come in with our pen. Now, this might have worked even better, might have been even easier had I done my pen work first, but I wasn't sure in the beginning if I wanted to do it that way. So next time, I'm going to use a 01 Micron pen. And very lightly, very wispy light touch here As you can see, I'm not filling in every bit of the lines. Okay, so let's come in with our white gel pen and fill in our dots here.
Okay, now do we want to, I think we'll outline a bit of the, of the leaves. Just to define them. Now I'm not following directly, you know, the line of the paint. So I think we need something up here. I think I'm going to come in with some uh, Chinese white. Let's see what we get. Just gives it a bit of a indication of shadowing. light coming from the left. Okay. I'm going to uh, draw that and then we can decide if we want to go further with this or if we're done. So our little painting is dry. I do want to do a little bit of touching up. I want to define, define this a little bit better. Put in my lines here. A wee bit more shading, just using my pen. All right. I think we're okay now. I'm going to add a few splashes of paint. That's what I find difficult, trying to decide what color I want to use for my splashes. Let me see. I'm torn between yellow and blue. And I'm leaning toward blue. Let's try blue. Okay, we'll go with cerulean blue. Oh, 
gonna lift this a bit. Tiny bit more. There we have it. I think that's it. Now we could put that on a card face. And this green I think will work. Hmm. Let's check them all out. I like the gold too gray. Gray is a little too, uh, no, too pale. Okay, so it's between the gold and the green. And possibly, yeah, I kind of like the gold. I'm wondering if I should put a border on that. Maybe a very thin border. Let's go with that. Using my ruler and a Sharpie. Very thin border. I just think that uh, the border just kind of finishes it off. Some of these car alarms going. this side a little bit wider because I think I want it a little wider than I started with over here. So I'll make this a touch wider. And the top a touch wider. So there we have it little painting for today. Put your John Henry on that. You can affix that. And what did we decide? I guess we didn't decide. What did I decide? Uh, toss up between the green the gold. I don't know. I'm really torn. Um, I'm going to, I have more green than gold, so I think I'll just go with the green. So let's just uh, do some Aliens Tacky Glue. Good old Aliens Tacky Glue. I'll tell you, there's some supplies I just don't think I could manage without. And then Aliens Tacky Glue, Mod Podge, Micron Pens, they're just something that I use a lot of. Okay. As usual, I have to stand for this. That looks about right to me.
So there we have it. Sweet little card. I wonder if I should put some birds on there. It just feels a little bare. Oh, what the heck, eh? Let's put some birds up here. Yeah, that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as usual, looking for, you know, comments. A like is always appreciated. So there, there you have it. I hope you folks have an ab absolutely fabulous day, and I'll see you on the next one. Remember, today's a good day to have a good day. Bye for now.